Hey folks, it's Eric from Eric's DJ Services with another product review. And I know yesterday, I um, actually it was yesterday, it was Saturday. What was yesterday? Sunday? I have no idea. Boy, this, this summer's been so busy, I can't keep track of the days. Anyway, the other day, I showed you this. It was the uh, Yorkville EXM Mobile 8. And I told you I was going to, I was use, I was going to use it for the ceremony that I did this past weekend, and I did. And I'm happy to say it rocks. It gets my thumbs up. It is awesome. Um, I had this playing uh, during the ceremony. I had it hooked up with the X5, the wireless uh, system that I've shown you guys before. And if you see my video, um, I, um, I recorded the vows and used the uh, X5 wireless dongle system. And as you can tell by the video, I was standing right beside this as they were saying their vows. And uh, crystal clear, crystal clear, awesome. Um, one thing I did not show you before, and it's kind of cool, watch this. It tilts. See that? It tilts. That's cool. So you don't have to have this on a um, pool, like a speaker pool. Like it does have the, oops, sorry. One hand is heavy, but. It's not too bad. Um, it does have a speaker pole hole, <laughs> speaker pole hole, but you don't need it. You can just put it on a table, have it lifted up so the sound goes out. It's really, really cool. Um, sound awesome. So I had the um, X5 system in here, and then of course I had the other dongle um, in the back of the, or the bottom of the microphone. Now, with every, great product sometimes it comes with not a great feature or something is wrong with it the only thing that i don't like about this is the back of this the color i do not understand why they did a black background with very small as you can see very small lettering um but the lettering is so small, the numbers are so small, and it just, I mean, I'm actually making you see it a lot better if I put the camera up to it, but if you go back and and try to look at it, it it's really hard. I, I think over time, you will know where all these buttons are and whatnot and so forth. Um, you'll know where they all are, but just at a glance, um, it's really hard to see. So you really have to get down, like right to the speaker and start manipulating all the buttons. That's the only thing I don't understand. That's a design flaw, I guess, or an aesthetic flaw, but it doesn't affect the overall performance of the speaker. And I find the battery power indicator a little too bright. So if you're getting down there, trying to look at these buttons and you have it turned on, obviously you're gonna have it turned on. Um, these bright lights really kind of almost blind you, <laughs> to be honest with you. They really blind you. They're really bright. So that's a bit of a design flaw or maybe an overlook that maybe they need to do something with the mixer part and make it, I don't know, bigger letters, bigger numbers maybe, or maybe make it white, white background with black lettering. That'll be good. Make this all white and then have all the lettering and everything, numbers and everything, make them black. Who knows? You know, Yorkville, call me. I'll help you out. <laughs> but anyway, besides that, it was a great, great speaker. I'm definitely going to buy it. I believe it retails at Long McQuaid right now for $849, which is not too bad. I mean, like I said, it is so light. I can pick it up one hand. I can toss it around the room if it wasn't rented. Well, I wouldn't toss it around the speaker anyway. But uh, yeah, eight inch woofer, I believe it's 200 watts. I mean, that's all you need for a ceremony. I, I even use it for cocktails too. And people were really impressed. They were kind of bopping their head and tapping their toes and you know, really enjoyed listening to the cocktail, cocktail music I was playing. It was amazing. It, it sounds like a full range speaker to me. Anyway, folks, that's my review. As I always say, till next time, keep that music spinning. Peace.